Yet again, another hurricane. And now 2020 has been quite a difficult year for the Louisiana coast. And as you can well imagine, as several storm ha storms have hit the hurricane this hurricane season, joining us now live is Ralph Libersad with Vermilion Parish Coastal Restoration. Thanks for joining us, Ralph. Hey, thank you. So where are you riding the storm out now? I actually evacuated to Houston. It was close enough, but yet uh, far enough to be out of harm's way and I could get back uh, soon enough. I've already been in contact with some of the police jury members and everybody's just holding on right now. Uh, we have definitely been prepared and uh, for the worst and, and praying for the best. And now we can imagine that 2020 has been one step forward and then one step back in terms of coastal restoration. Tell us about how the year has gone so far, coastal restoration efforts. Well, we have a lot of efforts going on uh, just because COVID started in 2020 has been very difficult, we've still been able to do some things with coastal restoration. Uh, with the help of uh, CPRA, which is the Coastal Protection Restoration Authority, um, what we have done is initiate with some of the funding that they have given us uh, for some shoreline protections along the northern rim of uh, Vermilion Bay and along Freshwater Bayou, which is an economic uh, benefit to the parish and also um, protects lots of marshes on either side of that uh, uh, vital waterway. Projects are underway right now, and are any of them in jeopardy due to Hurricane Delta? We hope not. We're, we're designing them. We've designed these projects over the years and have, quite, have learned quite a bit on how to do them properly. Um, Vermilion Parish, one of our priorities is shoreline protection. And these are gives multiple um, layers of defense for storm surge and the, the marsh behind that. And that's very important for Vermilion Parish. The things that we have ongoing right now is about three or four projects. As I said, we have some projects along Northern Vermilion Bay. Um, we have some projects along Freshwater Bayou. And also we're having uh, with some of our Go Mesa funds, that's with some of the offshore uh, royalties funds. Um, we have some protection along the Southwest Pass. If you've ever been down there, there's a little spit of land that uh, is very uh, uh, susceptible to erosion and we're hardening that. And also along um, the Southern Gulf uh, shoreline, we have some shoreline protection that has worked very good in the past and we're just um, extending those areas to get sediments behind that. All right, thank you so much for joining us, Ralph. I know there's definitely a lot to tend to there. Yeah, we're looking forward to, we're hoping that uh, this storm won't be as bad as, as Laura was. Laura uh, actually caused quite a bit of erosion mm -hmm. um, in our marshes south of here and we're looking forward to try to get out there and assess them and working with CPRA and getting some of those for, uh, uh, marshes re-nourished. All right. Thank you, Ralph. Stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye.